last day of century cannot be here hundred years contains five odd day which means sunday plus five will give you friday so last day of first century friday again 200 years contains if 100 years contains 5 odd day 200 years contain 5 into 2 10 but 10 by 7 will give you remainder 3 so in 200 years there are three odd days which means sunday plus 3 will give you wednesday that is last day of second century wednesday again 300 years contains 5 into 3 15 15 by 7 will give you one odd day so 300 years contains one odd day which means sunday plus one is monday so last day of third century monday again 400 years contains zero odd day which means sunday plus zero is sunday itself so last day of century can be friday wednesday monday and sunday it cannot be tuesday thursday and saturday because this cycle this cycle will repeat for the rest of the centuries after 400 years this friday wednesday monday sunday will repeat for the rest of the centuries for the last day of century so here your answer to this question is option c tuesday